it needs to do. Yeah, that. but um, now we'll get into the fun facts, which I actually facts. have a lot of. Great. Well, why don't you go ahead? There are stupid amounts of chimeras. It's not just dragon, lion, and goat. You can have freaking, yeah. like, hell pit abomination lion and goat. Like, literally, there's mm -hmm. one where it's like if a chimera goes with a hydra and has a kid. Literally, it looks like... It's, like, so odd-looking. It's so hard to describe, but it's like a chimera's body. But literally, it has, like, just... It's a flat chest with just a circle of teeth. Kind of like the Demogorgon from Stranger okay. Things. So, it kind of... Is this the, um... This is the Hydra. Tesso, yeah, it's like the Tesso Hydra. It's like the Hymera or like the Tesso Hydra. Yeah, so it's yeah. a Chimera and a Hydra. Basically, it just has a pit full of teeth, has its lion head on the top, and has a goat head like on its rear, and it's just like hundreds of snakes, like a Medusa. Yeah, it's a wild. It's really creature. looking. It's freaky looking. It has no wings, but like it swims too. There's yeah. that. There's the Gormira. Which yeah, is a Gorgon. Gorg Gorgamira. Gorgamira. But I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, is it sure Gorgon a construct? No, it makes absolutely no sense. Um, but Plus, apparently they can. So I mean, demonic the de de demonic origins there are also magical in a so, sense. So like, there's that. Um, and when we're talking Gorgon, we're not talking Medusa Gorgon. We're talking the the construct, the bull. Yeah, the bull with the uh, yeah. So the metal that bull petrifies. With the uh, yeah, and and this is interesting. So this is I guess. This gets into a fun fact I have. Chimeras, just like there's a lot of different types, you can't, they're, they're known for having just these random abilities. And so one of them is that they can be immune to petrification. So that's, that's, that's one of the ways they're capable of breeding with a Gorgon because the petrifying gas that Gorgons give off don't, don't affect all Chimeras. Sometimes they just have that ability. And this gets into, I think, their DNA and how it probably mutates rapidly or something I mean, it's like probably that. magic, too. There's magic involved. Yeah. Um, but so, what you can do with Chimeras is just slap on some random abilities that make no sense. It's like, why is it immune to this? Because Chimeras are like that. They're just wild yeah, monsters. No, yeah, no, they're literally yeah. just random stuff. Like, a Chimera, technically, you could have, like, a shark, like, a pelican, and, like, yeah. and, like, a... I don't know, like a turtle. But even if like you take the base chimera. chimera, like the regular chimera, just like, just like mess with it, like make it scream like a woman or something, like make it just creepy, scream or like make it scream like a goat, which it probably already does. Give it weird abilities, like it doesn't breathe fire, it can also breathe acid. No, like even with like the dragon head, it can be any can type be any of dragon. dragon. So yeah. you can have like a gold one, and you're like, oh, this chimera is cool, and then your legs are. Yeah, so I mean, off. you can change out any heads. And any parts of the body with anything. You can give it tentacles if you want. So there's that. But I'm just saying you can also just give it features without changing what it looks like. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, like, is... like maybe it's underwater. Like it just breathes water. It breathes, like, Why I don't know. Breathe water? <laughs> or you have it really funny where the goat head roars like a lion. The lion head roars like a dragon and the, and the dragon head just yeah a bah if you want to add some humor yeah just like just the, freaking... lion, the dragon opens its mouth no, it and so... instead of fire it just goes bah. or a goat <laughs> scream <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, yeah yeah but like i'm actually making one right now it's a chimera which is like it it, it has like a dinosaur head and it has a dragon and it has like I'm still coming up with a third one, but like. Well, let's see. You said what? You said dragon head, dinosaur head, dinosaur head. So, so do you remember? Like, Those are two very similar. They are very similar, but they're completely. Just different. slap on like a goldfish. <laughs> what about? Do you know like the Indoraptor from Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom? Yeah. That kind of reminds me of a Chimera a little bit. -ish. Those that okay. Let's get into the science since we're on the fun facts here. Yeah. So Chimeras are um, scientifically very different than what the mythological definition of chimera is. The mythological definition is just any creature that is uh, an amalgamation of other creatures that is fake. It has to be fake. But the second, scientific chimeras can be real. They are real. Well, so when it's a when something is a chimera, okay, it means it's fake because the second it's not a chimera anymore, it just gets a name. So there's a there's an old parable. This is cool. An old parable of the of like a group of blind men and an elephant and so basically what it was is all these blind men were feeling the elephant on a different part of its body oh, to figure out what it is yeah. and so one blind man's like oh an elephant's a snake and then another one's like oh no it's a spear and another one's like 
No, it's a big cow. No, it's a whip. No, it's a magic carpet. You know, like the ears or like it's it's oh, but like, like heaven is kind of like a chimera, but it, we don't think of it like that. It's actually uh, so anything can technically be a chimera. Well, I'm saying anything in the mythological sense that is real is not a chimera because it just is a creature. Like think of a platypus. Like we just take that for granted, but what the heck is a platypus? No, it's a beaver and a duck. A beaver, like, a duck, like a, a freaking scorpion. They can freaking kill you. What, are they poisonous? Yes, they, oh, they, they, they got this like elbow spike or like armpit spikes. If you tap them, you like die in like a couple minutes. Okay. Yeah, so it's and like- And they lay eggs. So it's like in our world- They're like, like abominations. That's oh, the platypus, that's Perry the platypus. But it's, it's- Perry the platypus but it's assassinates them. What's his friend? Talk to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, but, but chimeras are things that are like fantastical in the mythical sense. Yeah. But, okay, so the scientific sense, it's very more, a, a chimera is like an indoraptor. It's, well, actually I take that back. This gets complicated. So it, so chimeras, we are actually chimeras probably. Oh. Everyone is a micro chimera to some extent because a chimera is cells of one individual and cells of another individual in one person. So there are real life people that are chimeras, like full blown chimeras where they, they, got were, they were gonna have a twin when they were little zygotes in the womb. Oh, and they had, and they kind of messed up and they got two heads. That's that's conjoined twins, which is oh. kind of, the, that's, the, that's a version. That's but you can also just merge completely. And instead of being two people in one, you're one person consciously, but you have the DNA on like half your cells that are completely different than yours. They're like your sisters or brothers. And so there was a woman, uh, what was her name? Like Lydia Fairchild or something. This gets into my science so stuff. But she was a chimera. Everyone she was who a plays chimera. Skyrim, she's a chimera now. Oh yeah, she was a chimera. <laughs> she, I think she, I, I don't know about the story, but she, she's a chimera and her children were almost taken from her by the government because the government tested her children's DNA to her DNA and they didn't match. It was like, wait, what? Like you should be their aunt. And so what happened oh, was they no. happened to take the DNA out of her body that was from the zygote she merged with, if that makes sense. But so did she technically kill someone? Hmm. She technically ate them, yes. Oh my god! She's like, she's like oh man, she's like a... Like a she started... Kind of like the sharks, you, you know how like sharks... Gelatinous are. cube, she just absorbed the other thing. No! <laughs> yeah. Uh, but she didn't lose her children, they ended up just testing a different part of her and figured out that she's half and half. So, so she, but she's weird because she is both the mother and the aunt of her children. Because she, she birthed them, but the DNA oh. she gave them was actually not her DNA. It was her sister's DNA. But her Very sister's weird. dead. Her, her now. Her sister is is just never existed. Yeah, that's a rip. Yeah. Anyway, that's long story sick. short, the Endoraptor the the is not a chimera because it, a chimera has to be two individuals of the same species. Chimera, or sorry, an Endoraptor and a chimera in mythological sense are just it's just a hybrid animal. They're just called hybrids. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Oh god. So, Wait, so that means if you're a yeah. chimera, you would be the ultimate serial killer. Why? Because oh, because you test your DNA, you're like, oh, are you sure? Of that's that? a good point. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, your DNA doesn't match. That's weird. You're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but they could get the right DNA. You just gotta. It's not like you be lucky. Straight. It's like left to right hand. You're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, but yeah, no. Um, some other fun facts. So if you didn't know where. Chimeras came from, um, literally just Demogorgon himself coming into the world made chimeras. Right. Yeah, so, it like, was it, too boring, right? Yeah, I know. Like, he looked around, he's like, what the heck are these? Yeah, yeah. Give him some more heads. <laughs> wait, 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 literally, he looked at, like, a goat, a screaming goat can eat by a lion. He's like, huh, that's funny. And he looks at him, he sees, like, a dragon, he's like, chimera. Yes, kabam. Kabam. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's kind of like... So people think like, isn't Demogorgon like this mindless like killing machine? He's like, he's actually kind of technically Demogorgon is a chimera himself. He yeah. has two heads. Yeah, he's got tentacles. He's got and they're heads. yeah, and they're and they're both like they each head is a is another no soul. Yeah, it's a very it's a very good like just 
good storytelling there in that like the the Demogorgon is kind of a chimera itself. So it's a good link. Well, no, yeah, no, he's kind of like the father of chimeras yeah. because he deals with the same thing that chimeras do. Like yeah. We'll get to the Demogorgon at some point. Not that will be, a, yeah, not anytime soon. He's a big yeah. boy. We're moving up the, the CR ratings here. Um, um, do you have any, uh, do you think, do you have any other fun facts? Yeah, I got some. Do you have any more? I mean, I, I can do it. I mean, I have one where you can have a chimera, which is a demon, devil, and an angel. Since right, more and demons. Yeah, are lots of different. Versions. So basically, if that happens, um, I'm not really sure what happens. Like, is it evil? But then his angel side's like, no. Wait, it's a demon and angel and what? Devil. Devils and uh, demons are entirely. Well, different. that's the thing. Like, chimeras. So you would think they're so unpredictable. Pe some people play them at. I mean, this isn't wrong. This just isn't how I understand them to be. But some people play them as like, there's the goat. There's a lion and there's a dragon, and they all are competing for control over this body. And a they way actually to don't. Fight. They actually don't do that. That's what I'm. That's so, what I'm saying. Yeah, but like, some people play them like that, and and so they'll be. They'll say like, as a player, they'll try to make the heads fight each other. But again, that's you actually can't do that to a chimera. Like as right. a player, don't even try to like make the heads fight each other. Because like their instinct is like what we do. yeah paw so, print. So this is, I'm I'm connecting that to the angel demon devil situation because you may think like how do they get along? Well, it's like they don't. They're 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 a middle ground of all three. So it's not like you have the angel head saying I'm gonna help you guys out and then the de demons trying to kill you. It's more like they're merged together and so they all have the same motivations. That would be a middle ground. So kind of like I want to help you, but. Well, no, a devil would do that. It's kind of like, I want to help you. And, you know, I like that. I like this guy. He's funny. But that guy's a butthole. So sell me your soul. And then right. I'll help you out. And then, and then it's like, I actually love killing uh, kids, too. You know, it just happens. <laughs> yeah, no, it'd be like, it, 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 the demon. The demon would be like, hey, I will, I'll take your soul if you give me this. And then they'll be like, okay. And it's like, well, okay, hang on. Like, maybe that's not the best deal. Like, I guess I can offer this in return for your soul how's that and the person's like oh that's that's nice of you yeah i'll take that so <laughs> it's like yeah but just don't bring kids because i freaking hate kids yeah. oh just and kill them on sight dude just yeah do here's not... a heads up this is totally going to ruin your life if you take this like like your marriage will break up you know your, your kids will end up killing you just trust me but but I'll do it. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if you want, yeah. I mean, it kind of like I guess you deal with the devil, and the devil doesn't worry about stuff that this guy would. He would be like, yeah. "Look, if you take this deal, you might get you might become the king, get all the power." But look, man, I mean, do you really want that? Do you really want yeah. to, dude? Like, I'll yeah. do it. Don't do it for others. Do what you want. <laughs> give us your soul. Yes, what you want. yes. That yeah. I, I mean, you your NPC. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, here, look, man. And then the devil's just over there, like. I'm just ready to stab someone with my pitchfork. That's a demon, actually. Oh, I got it flipped. Yeah, so basically, demons, they, they like... So, like, kind of like fun facts about demons and devils they are not the same people. They hate each other and they kill each other. They're in a blood war. Right. Right? So, basically, demons, they just go kill things. That's them, that's why I kept me here. It's just, like, to kill things. They like to torture. Demons, yeah. they're kind... They need more soldiers, which are souls. Mm. They need soldiers. Okay. So, so that I look, man. So... In your life, I'll make you literally... the funniest dude you get all the girls man right. all you know all the girls just give me your soul it will happen all you gotta do when you die is you just become a devil like me and become based like me go kill some people i see you know, so they're recruiters teams. yeah they're recruiters yeah, they're, you know? they convert while demons just yeah. spawn <laughs> all right well there's yeah. a lot of information about non chimeras but we're good all right let's yes. move on um so i do have one more fun fact i suppose before we get extra ideas and that's just uh, chimeras when they're sleeping will always have one head awake. So you kind of like a hydra. Yeah, so you can't sneak up on them while they're sleeping. I mean, unless you can be like sneaky, right? Um, like you would sneak up on something that is awake, but you, you don't get like advantage or anything because it's sleeping. Because it, it, it is awake. At least the go head will be looking around. Or the go head would scream. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting alarm. Yeah, well, headphones just got destroyed. Um. Sorry. All right. We'll figure that out. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that. is that all the fun facts you got? Um, yeah, kind of cool. That. Uh, so now we're moving on to the last part. Um, extra ideas. Yes. One idea: make the goat head the alarm. 
Do not care what anybody says. Make that sucker an alarm. Start screaming when anybody yeah. comes. Oh, that's comes near. that's nice. Make it the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Okay, yeah, I wanted to. I did want to say uh, you have so much flexibility with the Chimera that totally use your own Chimera, but you can have so much fun. Make your own Chimera. Like, don't play D and D without at some point making a Chimera. Because how? Why would you not want to make your own Chimera? Yeah, yeah. And there's like tons of websites for this. Um, I think no, there's, there's actually there, a book. Yeah. There's a whole book. Is I mean, that an earlier edition. Uh, no, it's actually one of the fifth edition ones. It's okay. um the Odyssey of. Theros. It's one of the ones with the magic card, you know, like it's not really full Forgotten Realms D D, but they have an entire thing for Chimeras. Nice. Like in that world they're freaking ginormous and they're like gods. Okay. But like but like you you have like the Pegasus you have like a unicorn, an eagle, and like yeah. a, and a majestic lion. So it's prideful, mm -hmm. but it has like it wants to care for you as the unicorn, and it's like, you know, like the uh the, mo the most majestic thing. It wants to be majestic as, as hell. So that is right. Like it's That's evil, cool. Evil yeah. side. But so you can play around with all those things. Yeah, but the thing is, like, you don't have to deal with the heads. You can have that, but it has, like, a shark tail. So it can swim. Mm. So, you know, just... Yeah. And then you don't have to be three animals. You can put, like, six in there. You can make that right. monstrosity. And if you like them. making monsters, you can totally use these Chimera sites or the book uh, to just help you with that. Because it'll be like, okay, you're adding this element to it. Then okay, because you've added horse, add ten speed to its speed, right? Add add plus yeah, one. yeah. So and that's it'll make like it make sense for you. Yeah, yeah. So that's um, but you can obviously do whatever you want. Yeah. So I mean, the good. scariest one that I, that the that I saw, like it was like imagine like a dragon head, a mind flare head. So it looked, odd. So psychic eyes. mess. No, no, the mind flare. Oh, one. I'm sorry. I was thinking. Beholder. Yeah, it will, that would be it. And a beholder. Mind uh, okay. dragon beholder. So it'll so it'll look at you like it'll mess up your brain. It'll just burn you, but also like when it thinks too hard, stuff happens. <laughs> so <laughs> it's see. bad. Right. So like, you know, like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well yeah, there you go. Mix cool and powerful abilities. And also throw you don't even need to make a unique chimera. Just put cool abilities on the chimera because if you want to. And, yeah, and you can like, make them more powerful if you have stronger PCs by just throwing on abilities. Um, so yeah, all right, uh, another one. Chimeras, like I said, at least in the real world, don't have, they're not called chimeras if they exist. So I thought, and because they're rare, I thought it'd be interesting in a world, is if you just give them a different name, like make a chimera or just use the original. But when you're, when you're talking as the PCs to like an NPC that's a local, don't say like, there's a chimera in the forest. Say like, a there's this beast. yeah weird name in the forest. I don't know, like a there's a there, a guy in a guy in a I don't know. There's a screamer in the forest, and you hear goat screams in the forest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but give it some weird name, a and then fire goat. Yeah, and then your PCs will be Goliath. like, what is that? What's you know a what I mean? And and it'll be like mysterious, and they'll be like, well, we've never heard of this monster. And then when they end up fighting it. It'll all click for them, and if they, you could put hints as to what it is, and maybe they'll figure it out. But if that's just more fun, you know what I mean? It's more yeah. mystery, more story. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, no, makes it a lot more fun. Do you have? I mean, I just have a little one, which is pretty cool. Um, kind of going to the delves, make them like sentient. You know, just plop like a human head. Like that, that would be kind of scary. <laughs> oh god, yeah, put a human head. <laughs> but, yeah, that would be kind of scary. You know, make a chimera, it's like a dwarf, an elf, and a human. Yikes. So well, that wouldn't be terrible, because they're all, like, pretty... A dwarf, an elf, and a human would just be a person. But would what be hap... Siamese twins. But what happens... With... Or not, conjoined twins. Well, Siamese twins. Well, but what happens with the dwarf and the elf, though? If they're so opposite, like, do they fight like a dwarf, but they have the snobbiness of an elf? There is a very good player idea right there. Be Boom, yeah. make a chimera yeah. player. You're yeah, literally you're a, chimera a monstrosity. Player. Huh. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to walk into the to the monster den and they'll be like, friend. You know what I mean? <laughs> you were one of us. What? Okay, yeah, that, that's a good idea. Um, okay, so when it comes to like how you're describing combat, I would say just emphasize the abominableness of them. And also when you're describing them, just... You know, they, they just are these abominations, and they also are very violent. So, if your game is willing to be violent, it's not for kids or something, then, like, totally have the 
have the Camaro like ripping people apart or like oh, just yeah. doing things that would just be like emphasize the pain it's inflicting because that's where it takes its pleasure. It wants to hurt you. It may not even want to kill you. It wants, I mean, it will eventually, but it wants to hurt you and then eat you. But emphasize the hurt. You know what I mean? It, yeah, it just head tears just head, open your stomach. The headbutt. The yeah. goat just keeps headbutting you over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or it like twists its horn all it's in. You know, it's just ooh, trying to get that ooh, pain. God. Yeah. Puts it in your eye socket. And, just... and then furthermore, because they are rare, make them a big deal. You know what I mean? It's not like you're encountering a bugbear. It, it's you're encountering a chimera. This is a big, like crazy thing to be to be encountering. Also, like it's honestly an honor to fight a chimera. You do not see. Oh yeah. Like, ever a barbarian having the the hide of a chimera. Literally, all, awesome. all the other barbarians are like pledge allegiance. Like, yeah. Jesus, <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Sure. Okay. Yes. So you have any more? I got two more. I have no more actually. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe I should just say one more. I think I kind of. So this is the last one. And so combat with a chimera can be interesting in its descriptions, but because it is a wild animal, it can be pretty, can pr it can be pretty like, it hits, you hit, it hits, you hit. And sure, it's hitting with horns, it's slashing with claws, it may fly up a couple times. Um, but some, a way to make it especially interesting is to, I mean, and this goes for all combat, but it's especially easy with chimeras, is that you can make the environment an, an added obstacle. So chimeras, because they have such large spans of territory, you can pair but, them but with some canyon. in a canyon or like at the top of a mountain or something where the PCs are not only fighting the chimera, but they're also fighting to like climb this cliff or not, yeah, not fall into the canyon. You know, something like that where the chimera is very lethal, but but if you add the environment component, it could be a million times, it could be way more lethal because it may just instinctually try to push you off. Or if it's if you're trying to climb to its high up den, it'll just, it'll swoop down and be like, nope, get off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come here, boy. <laughs> yeah, and it, it would do that. You know, it's, yeah. it doesn't need to be smart to do that. Yeah, I mean, I actually um, came up with like, uh, uh, I didn't come up with it. It's just actually one of its like little facts. They'll lure in bigger things. Like, think oh, of yeah. chimeras are kind of like the honey badgers of the monsters, you know, they'll like to fight things. So, like, the chimera might win to see, like, oh, there's a, um, there's a big, uh, tarasque over there. Yeah, so let's like get out of here, but let's lure the tarasque over here and eat these fools. You know, like, <laughs> they, they would do that. Mm. It's pretty cool. But, yeah. I see. But I think that's it for chimera lore. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah.